Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deterius Williams and I am back at it again with another video. I'm gonna be moving next week so I decided to do a declutter of my closet and I was going through some clothes and I saw items that I haven't worn in a while or items that were buried underneath like a whole bunch of clothes. So I decided to do this video which is um, some of my old thrifts and some of the best thrifts that I have in my closet that are um, amazing pieces. So I just want to show you guys what I have in my closet and hopefully you guys like the video. I'm a big thrifter but I kind of got out of it because I'm trying to work with some of these big clothing brands. So I started buying different companies brands and I started doing the whole brand ambassador thing which I mean it's, it's a good gig. But I am a big thrifter, so I just want to show you guys some of the things that I have thrifted over the years and some of the things that are like just really pieces that are important to me. So let's start with this camo jacket. Uh, I got this last year. Um, they ripped off the name in the US Army or Navy part. And uh, the rule to like thrifting for me is like if you go to a thrift store and you find a camo jacket that can fit, you have hit the jackpot. Like, camo jackets are really big in the fashion industry and the whole fashion look. You can literally put a camo jacket on with just about anything and it looks really good. This one actually got a little bit too small for me so I'm actually putting it on my Poshmark. Uh, I'll put the link down below. But yeah, um, I just like the whole authenticity of this jacket. I like this color pattern and this was an amazing find when I bought it. And yeah, I was really happy when I bought it and I got a couple wears out of it, but yeah. Next item is this vintage color block striped collared shirt. That was a lot to say. Uh, I actually got this from PacSun like last year. Um, the reason why I got it is just because it reminded me of the 90s so much. And it's, it was one of my favorite pieces that I actually bought from PacSun. Uh, I'm actually putting this on my Poshmark site also because I don't really wear it as much, but it's really vintage. The material is really tough and thick, so you can get a couple of wears out of it and you wash it and it still, and it won't shrink or anything. So uh, yeah, I got this shirt from PacSun and I just put it in my vintage pile because it just gives me that feeling, that 90s flow. So when I first started my Poshmark closet, I did go out and go to the thrift store specifically for that. And I was able to pick up this really colorful jacket. I bought it with the mindset that it's a good selling item to sell on the website and I actually got a few offers on it. Uh, it's too small for me, so it's not something that I would wear, but the colors just really drew me to it and I thought it would be a really great item to sell on any type of any type of thrifting website um, it is a really small size but it's a really nice little bomber jacket so maybe maybe like two years ago I went to look for like really nice denim jeans or those old style denim jeans that I can like turn into my own and I got some jeans right like these were jeans that I was gonna cut and bleach and stuff and then this whole fire thing got in my head so I was like let me just turn these let me just paint these do a little D DIY on them and honestly they look dope to me but I cut them too short so I can't really wear them anymore but I think I did a pretty good job on them uh, I cut the jeans I distressed the jeans and then I painted them so I think I did a pretty good job on it, it was a nice little DIY project and it's one of those items that I can't wear but I like to look at and know that I did it. These were like the very first pants that I painted and I really have a thing for like creating my own type of style on clothes that I have. This nest item really means a lot to me because it was actually given to me by my late uncle who passed a couple years ago. Um, and he gave it to me because he knew that I was like a fashion type of guy and I like to look good and I like to, you know, wear nice clothing. So uh, he gave me this, he gave me this Lakers jacket, this vintage Lakers jacket. And I haven't worn this or anything just out of, I haven't worn this or tried to sell this just out of the respect of him. I mean, I do wear it like maybe once or twice a year. But it's basically like just a remembrance for him and it's just a really dope jacket. You just you gave me something that you wanted me to have and you thought that I would be the best person for it. 
So yeah, I'm just so happy with this and this is something that I will always have in my closet. And yeah, thank you so much and RIP uncle. This next item is just a basic collar tummy heel figure shirt. I got this maybe like, got this a few years ago. Um, what drew me to it was the color, the pastel color and just like the different, the different types of designs that's on the shirt itself. Um, I also like the logo of it. I didn't really pay attention to the brand. I was just like, this is a dope shirt. And I had a pair of Tim's at the time. So I really wanted to wear that with those. And it was a good outfit back then. But yeah, it's just a basic collar, dressy, Tommy Hilfiger collar shirt. Um, yeah. Before I joined the military and didn't really have that much money to go out and shop on clothes, I went to Plato's Closet a lot. and. Ash in Plato's Closet, you can get so many great finds. You can find so much great stuff that people don't want, and you can find it for a really good price. Uh, a couple years ago, I went in Plato's Closet and I bought a pair of foams. These are the Foam Ones Wolf Grays. And I have gotten so many compliments over these shoes, and I don't even wear them anymore. Uh, I basically got them because at that time, I was playing basketball, and I was like, Oh, let me just get a pair of phones, like, you know, they're at Plato's Closet, you know, whatever. And I got them for, like, maybe 70 or got them for, like, maybe, like, $50. So, me and my dad was, like, really happy about that because I was able... He wasn't... He's all about buying, like, new shoes and stuff like that. But I saw these and I was like, nobody had these at the time, so let me just get them. And... I'm in love with these shoes. I just don't wear them. These are just like a collectible for me. But I have so many offers. I just saw on Stock X that these are going for like $279. So these are, oh, these shoes are really nice. And these shoes are, yeah, I love these shoes. And I will not sell them. <laughs> when I was back home in Georgia, I stopped at a thrift store. Uh, I think it was like a Goodwill or um I think it was like a Goodwill or a Salvation Army and I saw this jersey, this Georgia jersey. And it's an oversized jersey and y'all know how I feel about oversized stuff so I just decided to get it. Uh, I don't really wear it now, maybe like to bed or something but when I first got it I wore it with like some above the knee denim and some bands and it was a look. I mean, and I'm always repping Georgia everywhere I go you know I was also able to pick up this vintage Braves jersey um, maybe it was a gift but I was also able to pick this up and I don't really wear it anymore but you can easily pair it with like a you can easily pair this with anything but I last time I wore it I had it with I paired it with like a hoodie a gray hoodie and it was honestly a look and just trying to let you guys see it yeah, it's a really authentic Braves jersey. So I am moving out of my apartment next week, so I will be doing a empty home tour, and I will show you guys how I decorate it and let you guys see that. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that video. And also, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking my videos and subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me, and I really do enjoy doing this. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys like this video, and thank you.